We're back with terrible business stories and Yu-Gi-Oh! players obvious inability to read. So if you guys love story time with the Fabian, these are going to be things that I have read other people complaining about from their TCG player businesses. And these are real stories, by the way. So please like this video to show your support of these crazy things that Yu-Gi-Oh! players will try to scam you out of, leave bad feedback for in the dumbest means possible. Let's dig on into this, shall we? Things that I have read recently from players. So, you know, pre-sales are a thing that certain stores over a certain amount of feedback will do. That say the cards will ship at a certain date as the set releases. Well, a certain individual made an order for a dollar sixty-five and proceeded to go, hey, I know that this card is out already, hinting at the European release. Can you please ship this out now? And you're like, but how do I do that? And then proceeds to leave a negative one star review for this saying that I made this order on May 2nd and this item has not shipped yet when the set is not even out yet in America. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's almost like every listing on TCG Player includes the text PRE-SALE! God, I hate customers so much. Like, this is the level of stupidity that we see in this community. And it's because players can't read. Now here's another good one. This was uh, this was brought up recently. Somebody bought a pack of sleeves. All right, these are your TLDRs, by the way. I'm not mentioning names or anything, but somebody bought a pack of sleeves. Okay, somebody found the pack of sleeves cheaper after having received and paid for the item. All right, that's the important part here. He has already gotten the sleeves. They were shipped out. Shipping was paid for by the seller. He finds out that he could buy it somewhere cheaper. He messages the seller that he bought it from and already has it in hand and goes, Hey, I found this item cheaper. Can you give me a partial refund? We're not Walmart out here. We're not price matching for this. And all of a sudden, you expect me as the seller because you bought this item from me and you found it cheaper elsewhere you expect me to get your item sent back to me or give you a partial refund what in the actual crap man what i i found that one hilarious to me all right nobody in their right mind would honor that at all all right now Another good one that I read, and this one, this one made me laugh super hard. So, evidently a guy bought a Danger Suit Chinoko, alright? Several months later, after the card was limited, he made an attempt to return the card for a partial refund. Anybody see the problem with this? We're like... 80 days into this transaction, you've had the card, you've played the card. You are going to message the person that you bought it from, going, I would like to return this, as I no longer need this. Thank you for allowing me to rent this card. I didn't know that when you buy a Yu-Gi-Oh card, that you are effectively selling it out here, or re literally renting it to this person. I'm going to just take a couple seconds to let you guys process what I just said. I, I really wish I could just be unhinged and just curse as much as I want in these videos, because customers are some of the stupidest piles of garbage that I have ever seen. And these are the simplest solutions out there. It's really outstanding to me that the player base just does not have any patience. Now, on the general topic of things, messaging a person 35 times to get your order will not make your order A, arrive faster, ship faster, and you are now annoying 
the seller. You know what the seller's gonna do? They're going to cancel your order as you are making outlandish demands. This is one of my favorite. I woke up, and this isn't as bad as my friend had, but I've woken up to spam six messengers in a row, all sent simultaneously. Oh, I had another case of a guy sending me four messages all at different times throughout the same day. I am going to cancel your order as you are being an annoying customer. Oh, here's my favorite. All right. And this will go for everybody on TCG Player. You have eight business days to receive your order. All right. If you order from me on Friday night and you message me Saturday morning going, have you shipped yet? Have you shipped yet? We are going to have a problem. All right. Guys, it's the next business day that this process starts counting. All right. Friday night at 1130 p.m. Saturday and Sunday are not physical business days. Monday counts your first literal shipping day since your order was made to ship. This is so, this is such a perplexing and hard thing for people to understand. And this is where I have 95% of my customer complaints as they literally order from me. Okay, I also had this one actually happen to me literally yesterday. This guy messaged me on Saturday and goes, have you shipped yet? I literally made his order. I think it was two hours before the message went through. And I'm just sitting here going, what in the actual heck? Why? Why are you messaging me? All right. Message me four days afterwards if you've got something to worry about. All right. TCG player sends emails and goes, hey, you have 24 hours to ship your package. Or, hey, you have 24 hours until we escalate this into a case. And then you're going to have to ship your order. Okay. TCG player notifies us of when we need to do these things. And to the guy, all right, I, I hate this the most, all right, I love when you leave me a neg, one star by the way, saying, oh, it's been four days, I haven't received my order. And it's the same person, it's the very same scummy person that ordered from you on Friday night, all right, it's now Tuesday and they haven't received their order yet, and they're leaving you an egg. Congratulations. You are never going to be ordering from Uncle Games ever again. You are getting blockerinoed. Oh, here's another one that I had happened to me recently. Uh, TCG player still hasn't got back to me for some reason. Guy makes an order for me, all right? It's fine. We got the name for the address. We got the city, the state, and the zip code. His address is literally just three numbers. There's no P.O. box. There's no street address. There's just three numbers. And you guys understand the issue with this, right? As 111, for an example here, cannot be a physical working address. That uh, That's not how this works. You cannot physically ship to that location. And if I send the package, it's going to just return to me, and I will have wasted a stamp. All right, we're, uh, we're not about that life out here. So contact your TCG player. We're like, hey, um, this isn't correct. This, uh, there's no way that he can live at 111. It, 111's not the actual address, by the way. So there's no way that he can live here. All right, like, you have at least 700 address or streets in this town and you're just like yeah I live at 111 I've messaged the buyer the buyer has not got back to me and worst of all the orders for about two dollars all right this guy is not going to be getting his glider to be satandras all right like hello like impatience the inability to write your own dang address is hilarious like I got another one of those messages the other day that goes, huh, 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 I, I sent to the wrong address, can you, can you please, uh, can you please contact us and get fixed? And it, it's literally like, I, I shipped your order already. 
sir, what can I do for you? And they're literally, they're like, I'm going to need a refund for that. So not only are you scamming me out of quote unquote tripping to the wrong address at this point, you're getting blocked. I'm never dealing with this again. All right. I hate Yu-Gi-Oh customers so much. So, so freaking much. They're some of the worst people that I... Robbie, how can you insult your customers like that? I'm not insulting my customers. I'm insulting the customers that are rude and just don't have the ability to read or don't contact you in time and try to scam you. The 14%, I would say, about 80% of my customers are the loveliest people in the world. And I thank all of you that leave good comments had good transactions. If I messed up your order, you got it fixed. You might got a couple cool free things along the way. Take pride. You're running your business correctly. That's all I got for this video, guys. <sighs> Customers are the worst. If you guys want more stories when I get them, please tell me down below. Ugh. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well... I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.